how I want to take you through the procedure of accessing the country profiles. Uh, you access the country profiles from the Regional Resource Hub website. When you visit this site here, this link, the link is here, it will redirect you to this website. And then in this website, there is a, a tab called Information Products. Under that tab, there is a link called Country Profiles. Uh, when you click on that uh, link, it will open this page. A page showing you the map of, of uh, the 24 countries that are, are covered. You can click on any of these countries to access this country specific information. And uh, in my case, I'm going to use the Ethiopia as an example. So when you click on Ethiopia, it will open the country profile of Ethiopia, um, country profile of Ethiopia. Uh, under that, uh, it, it will give you the more information about the country. And as you can see, we have the, the total area of Ethiopia. We have information about the terrestrial and inland water. Uh, we have information about the coastal and marine coverage. And all this uh, is in relation to the protected, protected areas of Ethiopia. Uh, as you scroll down, uh, you will see you can access the regional refer reference information system, uh, particularly for that country that you clicked on, and in my case, it is Ethiopia. So when you click on this icon here, this logo here, it will take you to the regional reference information system of Ethiopia, which is this. So uh, under that, uh, you'll get more information about Ethiopia. You will get information about the protected areas of Ethiopia. Uh, as you can see, uh, it is even given as a, a summary of, uh, in terms of percentage of the terrestrial and marine protected areas in Ethiopia. So when you come and click on this uh, first link here, protected areas, uh, it will open up and show you the protected areas of Ethiopia. You can see uh, it is showing the name, the designation, the area, uh, the IUCN category, the status, the status here, and the WDPA ID. So this data here is linked on there, on uh, linked to the World Database on Protected Areas. So as you scroll down, you will see the state, uh, state indicators, which are uh, indicators like the average proportion of marine keep biodiversity areas covered by protected areas. Uh, another indicator is by diversity important areas index. Uh, we have another one which is forest area as a proportion of total land area. And we have the visitors to the protected areas index. So it is giving you that information uh, in terms of graph. You can see the graphs and the values on, on, the, on the right. As you go down, there is uh, a link to the pressure indicators. So when you click on it, you will see the, the pressure indicators. Uh, particularly in relation to the, to the protected and conserved areas of Ethiopia. So you have the agriculture pressure indicator, you have the change in population pressure indicator, and it is even giving you the, 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 the values on the right in terms of, of, of graphs. Uh, there is deforestation between 2001 and 2016, inside and outside protected areas. Uh, deforestation between the year 2001 and two, 2016 within protected areas. Uh, that is a repetition, but then the, the, the information provided, the first one is in, in form of a line graph, the second one is in form of a bar graph, and there are so many other uh, indicators that you can uh, go through. Uh, then you have the response indicators, then you have the country profiles. So when you click on these, uh, it gives you uh, the links to, the, to more information about Ethiopia. As I, I'll show you, uh, some of, the, of this link can be accessed here. Others can be accessed in, our, in the page that we visited uh, previously. So uh, when you click on, on any of these links, it will redirect you to, to the information about Ethiopia in those databases. Uh, for example, when you click on Convention of Biological Diversity, it takes you to the uh, country profile of Ethiopia in CBD, and I'll be doing that, I'll be taking you through that. Then we have other country links, uh, such as the information of Ethiopia in the World Bank uh, country page, the information of Ethiopia in the UN data country profile, and the information of Ethiopia in the UN country profile, UNEP, sorry, UNEP country profile. So if I, I can just go back uh, one step, 
uh, I'll take you back to this uh, place. Just under the regional reference information system, uh, you can see have the data portals for Ethiopia, and these are just the links to the information about Ethiopia, uh, some of which are created by uh, Ethiopian institutions, such as the Ethiopia Biodiversity Institute, and others are created by uh, global institutions like Wildlife Conservation Society. On the right, you can see have the global links, and the, these links are uh, actually the links that will take you to the global to the global databases, but particularly to the information about Ethiopia. So there's uh, information about Ethiopia in the world database, database on protected areas. When you click on it, it will take you to this link here. So as you can see, when you visit this link, uh, it will give you uh, the summary information about the protected areas of Ethiopia. And on the right, you can see it is showing you 99, showing you 99 total protected areas in Ethiopia, uh, 17 of which have uh, are with management effectiveness evaluations. Uh, when you scroll down, uh, it will give you ma more information. Uh, this the coverage of the protected areas, uh, terrestrial protected areas, is 15.74 percent, and it has even given you the, the, the area in terms of square kilometers. When you scroll down, you'll get the infographics um, that uh, will give you more information about the protected areas of Ethiopia. You can see how the management categories, we have the governance types of the protected areas in Ethiopia. Uh, when you click on the second link, which is a uh, Convention on Biological Diversity, CBD, it takes you to the country profile, uh, Ethiopia country profile in the CBD, which is this link. So you can see it has taken you directly to uh, the information about Ethiopia in the CBD. And while you're here, you'll get more information about Ethiopia uh, and also get a chance, get a chance to download uh, the report called um, National Biodiversity Strategy and Action Plan Report. So when you click on this link here, you get the report downloaded in form of a PDF. So if I can go back, you can see I have uh, the Digital Observatory for Protected Areas, and this one will still take you to the information about Ethiopia uh, in the DOPA, so Digital Observation Protected Areas. Uh, similar to, to the, la the last link, which is National Biodiversity Strategies and Action Plan, is actually a link that you will uh, download this report, which you, you, you can also download from the, from the CBD. Uh, you can also come and access the, 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 the information in the data portals here by just clicking on the link. It opens uh, those portals. Um, when you go back to this, and I just want to take you to the Regional Reference Information System of Ethiopia, uh, this place here, you can also be able to download documents. And you can see the last link here is about the documents. And you can come and download uh, the, 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 the state of protected areas and conserved areas in Eastern and Southern Africa report. We call it SOPACA report, particularly for Ethiopia. And you can download many more reports from, from this uh, country uh, profile. Uh, from, sorry, from the regional uh, reference information system. Thank you. And that is the end of my, my presentation.